Aloha, it's Robert with Blue Planet Surf Shop in Honolulu. One question we get asked a lot is about our logo. You know, what's the ba what's the backstory? You know, what's the story with a fish? What, is that a real fish? Is it extinct? And so on. And, you know, it's a 25-year anniversary this year. So um, back when I started the business, I first came up with the logo and a business card in 1992. So this was the original logo, the um, a circle with a wave in it. It was inspired by Maori artwork I saw on a trip to New Zealand. And I thought it was cool, but it looked a little bit generic and people said, I know other people have used similar things before. So, so then our, our second logo was the globe and gear, which is, was the planet with Hawaiian islands in the middle and a gear around it, the surf gear. And we still use that logo sometimes. That was our original trademark logo. So this video is also in memory of my good friend, Brian Kim, who passed away in 2014. He's the one who came up with this logo. I have to give him full credit for it. He came to me with this t-shirt design he, he sketched. And it had like a triangle with bones and it said Cro-Mag in it. And then it had like a, a funky fish. And I asked him, you know, what's up with that fish? And he said, well, it's basically the idea came from Jurassic Park, the T-Rex head. And then he thought it would look cool with a fish body. And then, I, you know, I saw that fish and I was like, yeah, that's a cool fish. Um, can we just use the fish only? and make a t-shirt out of it. And he's like, oh yeah, sure. So after I told my buddy Brian that I really liked that fish logo, he came up with a few more sketches, but I, I kind of liked the real simplistic uh, artwork of the original one. And actually we simplified it even more to make it kind of just really stand out and, and be simple. So uh, I took out the fish, changed it up a little bit, and then uh, we called it the Cro-Mag fish. And soon that, that t-shirt became our best selling t-shirt. People came to us and were like, oh, uh, you know, you, you guys have that cool fish. So when I heard that, I was like, okay, we, we should make that into our main logo. Back then we were selling the t-shirts at the Aloha Stadium flea market. And, uh, you know, we had the fish logo Then we added some new designs like the petroglyph, Hawaiian petroglyph guy fishing for it, spear fishing and so on. So um, everybody loved that fish. So that, you know, we, we used that as our main logo, became our, our trademark logo. And then a few years later, my stepson, Joe Giletti, who is uh, also a graphic artist, very talented young man, he, um, he made a sketch of the Cro-Mag fish and changed the, the bones and the spine to the Hawaiian Islands. So, you know, when I saw that, I thought, oh, that's a really cool idea. And it kind of uh, ties in that, you know, our ties to Hawaii, being based in Hawaii, putting the islands in there. So we, we started doing that. and use the Rasta colors to kind of offset it and make the islands pop a little bit more. And yeah, ever since then, that's become our main logo called the Rasta Islands Cro-Mag. We use it on all our boards now and we have lots of different versions of it. So as you can see, our, our Cro-Mag fish logo is somewhat of a Frankenstein monster um, with lots of creators playing around with it over the years. And, you know, we'll see what happens with it in the future. Uh, maybe it'll evolve some more over time. Thanks for watching. Aloha.